Every patient who have a brain and spine elements will always come with a great apprehension to us. And they always believe post-surgery they will have a complication. Here in our Institute of Neurosciences and Spine Care at Whitefield, we have surgeons with high skill, with more than 35 years of experience, and they have done more than 40,000 surgeries. At Astor International Institute of Neurosciences Whitefield, we believe that harnessing the best use of technology delivers the ideal and the best outcomes. So, take for example, the case of a lady who was brought to us from Mysore about two weeks ago with a bleed in the brain. So, we took her to the cath lab as an emergency. At this institute, we have a biplane hybrid cath lab where the resolution is in high definition. We were able to localize that the source of the bleeding was a broad-necked PCOM aneurysm. So using the biplane lab, we were able to use a balloon to coil the aneurysm perfectly. And after rehabilitation in the ICU for a couple of days, she was able to get back to Mysore and she'll be coming back for a procedure later on after three months. There are about 12 million people with epilepsy worldwide, among which one fifth of them unfortunately reside in India. Epilepsy is a neurological disease in which the people tend to have recurrent seizures. Esther Whitefield Comprehensive Epilepsy Care Center is your one-stop destination to solve all your epilepsy problems. Here we have an established team of epileptologists, functional neurosurgeons, neuroanesthetists, neuroradiologists who sit together and try to find out the best possible solution for epilepsy. We have facilities for epilepsy surgical management as well as medical management and we cater to all populations, be it pediatric or adult patients with epilepsy. I recently had a 32-year-old gentleman coming to me with his epilepsy, which he developed because of the tumor arising from his right part of the brain, exactly in the area of hand and leg. He was completely devastated. It's purely because when he went to the other hospital, he has been told that after the surgery, he will lose on his left hand and left leg and he will take months together to recover from it. I completely understood him. And I did an MRI with what is called tractography. I could trace the, every cell of his brain coming from the right brain, you know, coming down up to the tumor area and how it distributed using our high technology. And I operated him using what is called awake craniotomy where I kept him completely awake during the surgery and he was watching his movie and I could communicate directly with him when I'm doing the surgery. And I removed every part of his tumor by utilizing my MRI pictures which was utilized along with the navigation. And I also utilized the higher end ultrasound which is giving me 3D picturization of the tumor and it is also directing me where exactly I left the tumor and how I should achieve it complete removal. Believe it or not, the surgery went beautifully. I sent him within 48 hours. The smile on the patient's face and the family, even now I remember every minute and I took his apprehension completely out of his life. And that's the way we use our skill and the technology to make one person better. Recently, I did a scoliosis surgery on a young chap. This young chap was advised surgery by other doctors but he deferred the procedure for last four to five years. When he presented with, to me, he was almost having 100 degrees of curve. He was having a full fear, thinking that any scoliosis surgery being done will have a weakness in his legs. I gave him the full confidence that he will do good because I have the background advanced technology thinking about the lupex. For any deformity surgeon like me, the most important part of any scoliosis procedure is understanding a three-dimensional anatomy of the twisted spine, like this boy. So I took him for the surgery and using an, another navigation device, which is called as a curve, which is first time in India, using this combination technology, the lupex and the curve navigation, made me confident to put pedicle screws into his twisted spinal bones and using multiple technologies like intraoperative neural monitoring, I was quite sure that this guy will do good. This confidence was given especially by the technologies available so that when I walk out of the war and I have made the promise which I have given to the patient, which can be fulfilled without any problems. The patient is doing really good and thanks for all these things with respect to the technology which is available. We believe in the philosophy of whatever is measured in the life will improve. In the same way, we try to measure the brain activity during the surgery, which helps us in delivering 
precise anesthesia for complex brain and spine surgery patients. And we also use specialized pumps called target control infusion pumps to deliver anesthesia, which even estimates the blood levels of anesthetics, which makes the anesthesia very safe in extremes of age group. We also monitor the brain function and spinal cord function with advanced equipment called as neuromonitoring technology, which helps us in increasing the safety profile of complex surgeries. Neuroscience is a dynamic field that values research and innovation. We specialize in complex surgeries such as brain tumor resection, functional neurosurgery, and cerebrovascular surgeries. A huge volume of complex cases, along with advanced technology in our department, pays way for research and innovation. With more than 50 publications in both national and international journals, we continue to focus on high quality research to transform healthcare and to enhance patient outcomes. Come experience our skilled surgeons with compassion, we will treat you well.